Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to turn footage like this into BAM! Gross, grungy, blech footage. I mean, you see we got the drugs there that are very badly uh, after effects tized onto the box. Uh, anyway, you can download the footage. There's a link in the description. Um, I'm a bit annoyed because I did this tutorial once before and um, it, it took me, you know, a couple, couple minutes to finish making, and then I realized that my microphone was not even on for the entire recording, so I have to do it again. Um, and yeah, this I just, I just sort of zoomed in a little bit here, just so that I have a cool thumbnail, because everyone knows that's the only important part of YouTube videos. Uh, so anyway, okay, let's start out here. Um, get the footage, that was from the previous tutorial, uh, get, get the footage that there's a link to in the description, and uh, open it in After Effects, so, you know, just import it or whatever. Uh, open a new comp. And, you know, here we got the footage. Uh, if you're wondering why I look so incredibly weird, uh, it was for a uh, video on my main channel, youtube.com slash pcchangerproductions. Uh, and I just had to look like a loser, weirdo, nerd person. So, anyway, yeah, watch the video if you want. There's also a link in the description to that. Um, okay, so, uh, let me see if I can get this tutorial right this time. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to hit Control-Alt-Y to create a new adjustment layer, or you can do layer, new adjustment layer, but it's faster to do, just do control alt y um, And we're going to hit enter and name this layer CC for color correction. Um, and then come over here to effects and presets. If you don't have effects and presets open, you can hold down control and hit 5 on your keyboard. That'll pull it up. Or you can do, you know, window, view, effects and presets, blah, blah, blah. Or you can uh, just go effect and select the effects manually, but that takes a lot more time, so we're just going to do it with effects and presets. So, uh, type into effects and presets exposure. And we're going to drag that on to the color correction. We're also going to put on a curve. Uh, curves adjustment and a hue and saturation. All right. Um, now I'm going to just find it interesting, uh, something like that, maybe. Sort of a more interesting uh, thing to work with. Um, okay, we're going to turn down the exposure slightly. Just, uh, you know, you might need to turn it up for your clip, but basically we're just trying to find the point. Like you see here, if I blow it out, you know, we're only seeing white from my body. We want to have the detail. Uh, we don't want to have just solid white. We want you want to keep the detail, um, but still also most of the brightness because we don't want to, we don't want to turn it too too low where the whole picture starts getting too dark. So, sort of find that point right between where it blows out and where we lose the detail. So something like that probably for me. See the difference? Um, and now we're going to turn down the gamma like that, and the offset. Just bring that down slightly. Hold down Control while you're dragging the offset and it will um, move more slowly or you can hold down shift to make it move faster but you're not going to want to do that with the offset um, so that's pretty good for that right now and um, let me see should we go directly into this? I guess we will um, we're going to bring up the bright slightly and then we're going to take down the darks to just sort of add a little bit more contrast that might be too much uh, but we can tweak it later if I don't like it um, so we're going to go back here, and we're going to go to the red channel and take some of that out. Then we're going to go to the blue channel and take some of that out, just a little bit. And I think we're going to go to the green channel and boost it just very slightly. Something like that. Okay. Um, and now we are going to hit Control-Alt-Y for another adjustment layer. Hit Enter and name this one Vignette. I don't care if that's right or not, that's how I'm spelling it, deal with it. Um, and I'm going to type in curves for bringing a curves adjustment. Drag that on, we're going to go to the ellipse tool. If you don't have the ellipse tool selected, you probably have the rectangle tool up here by default. Just click and drag to the ellipse tool or you can click it and hit Q to cycle through. Um, so yes, we're going to go with that and double click it. And it'll give you a nice little ellipse mask, which you probably can't see if you don't have these mask layers on. Um, and we're going to drag down this curves adjustment that I dropped on there. And that's kind of looking hideous. Uh, so we're going to go down here to the mask, and we're going to click Subtract to take it away from the picture. Uh, hit MMM three times, and drag up the feather. Something like that. Okay, now this is looking too dark, so we're going to hit T on the vignette layer, and drag down the opacity, which is just, you know, transparency of the thingy. T for, you hit the key T for transparency, but it's they call it opacity. I don't know why. 
Um, okay, so that's pretty good. We can mess with that later, too. Um, and I'm going to go back to the color correction layer, and I think I'm going to take down the saturation. My mouse is being funny, guys. Um, drag down the saturation just slightly. This is sort of the black and white fullness of it. Like, you know, you can add more color, but that doesn't look good. You know, maybe, f what could you use that for? Some sort of crazy party where the person is drunk or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, take it down a little bit, but not a lot. Something like that, maybe. Um, now click on the vignette layer, hit Control D to duplicate it. Control duplicate is what I think of it as. Um, we're going to delete the curves adjustment. Uh, and then we're going to come in here and type in brightness. What? Well, spelled it wrong. Brightness. I'm a creative speller. Uh, brightness and contrast. Now we're going to drag this vignette to layer under vignette. Hit enter to rename it, and we're going to call it <laughs> contrastfulness ish stuff. Okay. Now, the reason I had us duplicate it instead of just making a new adjustment layer is because we already have the mask on the vignette layer. So, by doing that, we just save ourselves the work of having to make another mask. Um, so, I'm going to turn off the vignette layer just for a second so you can see what this, what this is going to do. Um, now, you see in these corner areas, it's just sort of normal, you know, the contrast is just as norm normal as like the rest of the picture is. Hopefully, you get what I'm saying. Um, we're going to come here and we're going to take up the contrast but it's only going to affect these areas. So we're not, it sort of looks like we're darkening them. I'm not darkening them. I'm just making the darks darker and the brights brighter in those areas and sort of just increasing the contrast, but only of the edges. Do you see that the wall here is sort of more green and blech than um, like, you know, in here? Uh, that's sort of what it's doing. Like I'll show you if I drag it over, you see? The contrast just increases. Um, Stupid slow computer. Okay, um, so yes, uh, I'm gonna hit MM because I think I want to expand the mask a little bit so I can have it go past. Oh, that's the wrong way. Bring it down a bit. Something like that is probably good for this shot. And now we can make that smaller and we can turn on the vignette again and see this. And if we don't like it, uh, we can hit, you know, T and we can turn it down a bit, turn it up. It's just, you know, it sort of looks better with a little bit of. Blech, grime on the sides, and then uh, turn up our vignette slightly, something like that. Um, let me see. Is there anything I'm forgetting to mention? Um, go back to our color correction. Oh, oh yes. There's a one little trick uh, that it's very useful for color correcting, color correcting stuff uh, that I have found. Um, hit Control Y. It's sort of sneaky little trick. And you know, make comp size. I guess if you have, if it's not already comp size, um, and then for the color, uh, click the color. Yours is probably black because you probably haven't messed with this a bunch. Um, we're gonna dra drag the thingy down to green and sort of pick like a lime, sickly looking pale green, something like this color. Uh, the color I'm using here, if you want to just enter the number, is five eight B nine five eight. You can put that in and uh, get the exact color thingy. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's how you do it, and this tutorial is over now, and I, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I, I say I make that same joke every single tutorial, and it's still not funny. Um, so we're going to put this under the vignette, and we are going to hit T, bring the opacity down very, very low, something like 4 or 5%, sometimes, maybe even 2, uh, and I'll show you the difference it makes, okay? Uh, let's take a with it, and then let me show you. Okay, so this is without, this is with. Uh, if you ever need to take a picture of your comp, you can just click this, take a picture, and click this to see the picture. Now, I can only hold one picture at a time, but it's kind of useful. So I think this is a uh, pretty good... Oh, 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 something else I forgot to show you. Uh, oh, I think my girlfriend is messaging me uh, on Facebook, so I should hurry up and end this tutorial quickly. Um, but yeah, so that is uh, basically how you do it. And uh, adding the little bit of greenness in here, uh, the really, really light green solid, sort of just adds a little bit of a hazy sort of green look. Um, brings up a little bit of the brightness in some of these dark areas, but makes it feel really grungy and gross. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much how I would do a grungy type looking color correction thingy. Um, and so I hope you like this tutorial. hope it helps you out. If you feel like... Uh, leaving a like for me or subscribing, that would be helpful, but, you know, whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, 
Also, I post free pre-keyed video effects, which are effects, I think I might even have some right here to show you as an example. You can just drag them onto your comp, uh, and then, let me see, you don't have to even key out a background or anything, like this is a muzzle flash, but you can just drag it on, and there's no, there's no black or green background you have to key out, it's just already keyed for you. So yeah, uh, I have a bunch of effects like that with download links in the description of those videos. Uh, if you want to take advantage of that. And uh, if anyone has any tutorial requests or anything, like for example, if you don't know how to make it look like it's snowing or something, and you want to, you know, just leave me a comment, say, you know, how, how do I make it look like it's snowing in After Effects? And I'll say, oh, okay, and I'll make a tutorial for you and post it and stuff. And nobody ever leaves me comments, and even though they can, and I will totally make a tutorial for like, uh, you know, it'll just take me a couple days to get the tutorial uploaded and online. Uh, anyway, yep, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Hope this helped you out, like I already said. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.